So, the message on the loading screen right now told me you need a reason to declare war. Choose your castle's belly wisely. And that's something about Crusader Kings and some other Paradox games, but Crusader Kings more than others that really, 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 really makes this game so enjoyable. Because in most grand strategy games or 4X games, you just kind of right click you say declare war and then you just choose a reason and you kind of go for it um i recently played some civilization 6 where they also changed that around so you first have to denounce someone so if you receive a denunciation you can well extrapolate that potentially you might be facing an attack soon stuff like that but there's really no game that does it quite like uh, Crusader Kings 2 where there are also not just specific reasons but also many ways to get to those reasons like we saw a few episodes ago when we took over these two duchies by inviting a claimant, giving them a title or rather having a claimant, having them have a title and then pushing their claim towards uh, increasing the size of our realm and these are the things that really, really, really make me love this game so much because there's just no, well, a little bit of randomization, but there's no, there's also a bit of luck. I want to throw out all the things where you don't have control, but the rules are very clear. Uh, so even if you are faced with an enemy where you don't fully understand how they might be able to attack you, very often, you can figure it out, even if it's just in hindsight. So let's keep going and check our goals here. 46 out of 60. And we wanted to start seizing some trade posts here. And we could do that with Pisa, Pisa or Croatia. But I feel like Croatia might be a little bit uh, softer of a target. They have 5,000 troops ready. Ah, Pisa is actually a softer target. But they're also pretty wealthy. Uh, they're not unwealthy either, but they can't sustain a lot of... <laughs> oh, Croatia just lost a little bit. Looks like. And they are at war with... This to vassalize them. You know what? Let's try this. Let's, let's try and seize a trade post. We want the Veglia trade post. I don't fully care how good they are currently. I just want them. Oh, this one is a little bit closer. Isteria. Isteria. We need to go up a bit. There. This one. So now we have declared war upon them. Uh, let us raise our full might. Because I am not anticipating anything to go wrong if we send our full army down here halfway around the world to deal with this whatever could go wrong Croatia might decide to come toward us but I'm kind of confident they're not our little boy has come fever Treatment. He, he might just die. The King of England. We could stand up some more troops here. Not a lot. A house died, another house rises. Let's take out this guy. Laplan tribe. We're still building the city here to give to our commander friend. Okay, let's be a bit cheesy and figure out where she has troops because clearly she's leading herself. And there they come. Just past them. So. They are probably coming north now. to attack us but I feel quite confident that our retinue can deal with most things and if not 
There's always the trusty mercenaries. Actually, since we know they're coming, let's get to the let's get a bunch in here. See if our friends of the Latvian band and all these types of people are available. Bombard the Breton, the Saxon, the Finnish. Oh, they're all on contract. Da. Ah. The Norwegians would be up. Or higher, but there's the Lithuanian band. Let's get them. I just want them ahead of time. So I can get them up in morale. And since we earn the money that we earn, we, we can afford having them sit around for a bit. And there come the Croatians. For a moment I thought they had landed here, but it's that wasn't the Croatians. I mean, they're having their own war, but they immediately pick up to attack. Not even a question about it for them. They are coming. And they are landing here. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they're going back home. That's weird. Let's split our troops because they are receiving some attrition here and let's go siege the capital. Send these to siege the capital too. We have occupied the trade post. And I will keep these on the ship. Just in case they're going to threaten Venezia or something. Silly like that. Oh no, my son died. It is suboptimal. We see the Croatian still travel? That looks like it. Okay, um... What did he die of? Scurvy! I've never actually seen that! I have never seen scurvy in this game. Wow, okay. So we have to wait a little bit until our next best option <laughs> comes of age. And maybe our next wife will give us another son or two, because right now this is not looking too good. So let's pick an heir, and it will be our friend Olaf here. Who will also be... Nah, our friend is going to be. This. I'm not concerning myself too much with all the other options here. Pick someone for something. Data buddy. Alright. So while we lead this, this is pretty cool and all, we want a siege master on this. We will be leading on the sideline. And we're just waiting for the creations to come back uh, somewhere. And I don't even care. I will keep the re uh, the mercenaries. Just keep them. We'll stay up. Where's Little, my friend? Must learn on his own. I'm sure he will. So let's check where they are at. Are following their course? Yeah, they're coming back. That was waste for them. Okay, let us stand down our mercenaries because, <laughs> speaking of waste, no reason to have them up. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put these down on Venice immediately. So in case they decide to attack Venice, we already have troops in place. That are already getting their morale up. Okay. They are... Looking to engage our army on land, probably. So... We'll send our troops here. And engage the enemy.
Let's get all the best men on this. More commanders on the side there. Into a forest. How are we faring? We have a lot of light and heavy infantry, but also a bunch of light cavalry. What do they have? Light, heavy... A uh, good amount of pike. We don't have so much. No, oh, you have more. Should be fine. Especially with... All the... Oh yeah, look at that. 27 out of 16. Okay, we can ride through all the night, which will raise the quality of our work, but potentially give us a flu. Oh yeah, that doesn't look really like much of a contest, does it? Most of her morale was still destroyed from just disembarking of a ship. So this battle will conclude... Oh, would you look at this? You know what you're going to do? We're going to ransom her because she's a queen. She's 250. We're still at 100% even after she takes the ransom. <laughs> it amuses me. So now we have seized this trade post, which is now ours. You look at that. And we can immediately stand down our troops down here. Because we got Venice as our staging point. That is cool. That was very cool. Who's this? Ancona. Ah, you're part of the Holy Roman Empire, are you not? How is Pisa its own thing? Well, it matters little how they are their own thing. Just matters to me that we would like their stuff. What color flag do you guys fly on your post? Okay, it's this. So let's check for a trade area where they are dominant. The Balearis, which is a trade area we, we, could, we could easily get from them. Hmm. Well, that was quite successful. Where are we at? We had 49 out of 60. But let's first upgrade our palace further, because we're almost done with this. And check through our holdings here. Everything we can upgrade right now will be upgraded. Especially the expensive stuff. Like the Huskarls. And let's hop through our trading poles. Fully upgrade a few. Everything for the tax income. Don't even have enough money to upgrade now. Bending left and right. Oof. This is a bunch of money we are earning right now. Yeah, 
Okay, trade income is slowly picking up here. As you would imagine. Are you in a faction? Shouldn't be in. Yes. Stay out. We could create a kingdom down here to kind of settle a few things. So we don't have to deal with all this all the time. So we could, for example, give this most serene blah blah of blah blah up here. And give that up. We lose only two. Probably should give up the most serene Republic of Finland. Because that would consolidate the most vassals of ours. Concentrating power. Wasn't there... Yeah, her. Our kinswoman. Let's make her a queen, shall we? I don't really need this. Most serene Republic of Finland. And you get everything below, so all the vassals go to you. And I will also transfer vassalage of... This is called... That. Yeah, this kid will also be a vassal. And this guy will also be a vassal. <laughs> I'll just give you all the vassals I don't want. Alright, looks good. This guy I can't give her. And you get one of my boys. Or one of our nephews. There we go. Okay, we'll wait until we can afford this. low in rank okay she'll take this on though high chance timid high ch I don't know let's go for brooding I'd rather have brooding than timid brooding begets better stuff so what war are you immediately waging? Okay. Civil war. And there is our non-aggression pact at home. Just that revolt of yours. Do we have nine out of oh yes. Our city up here is done. Very good. Where's my friend? Good best friend. You get the grand city of Lapland. Everything that comes with it. There you go. We can get your marriage too. Can't get your marriage apparently. Who's your heir? Oh, it's a Grand Republic, so if someone someone is going to follow up. I wish it would count for more on a game mechanic level.
Anything needs upgrading here? A thousand? No, what you are you kidding me? This mustering grounds, yes. Target gone into hiding. We go next for this one. Do we? Let's check trading Croatia up here. Let's seize those next. I just wanted this was my test case basically. Do you have a truce with you for four years? So if we kill you. Not have a truce with you. See how many people are willing to join this. Three seventy-five. Not enough though. I know I have a lot of open slots here, but that's perfectly fine with me. Find some good commanders in the world. No, no, no. I know I'm the best commander in the world. I need some that are somewhat equal. Always get the Siege Masters. No consideration needed, required, beyond... Ooh, there's Siege Master. I mean, there's Siege Leader, but I always forget the term, and then and she's Siege Master, and you know, you know how it goes. Our Kinsman, I don't care how he turns out, he's my Kinsman. And your plot, you silly woman. Lots of people joining our court. New commanders to replace the bad ones. Look at all these commanders that we have. They're all pretty good as well. Another patrician plotting. Are we trying to kill this one? No. But we should try and kill this one. Family has a lot of trade posts. Many of which would be better in our hands. Yes. Let us marry the girl. Our very young genius wife. Of a long bloodline. So the thing is that I don't think any of the kids are going to have these bloodlines. It's kind of weird how it works. There's matrilineal transfer, patrilineal transfer. I don't know. I mean, it might work out, but I don't think it will. I've had situations like that and it just didn't work, sadly. Oof, we become wrathful. Ever increasing our crazy, crazy powerful martial skill. Care, she's just a girl. She can turn out however she wants. Okay, let's look toward our little attempts here with Estonia, shall we? We have a bunch of claims which are not really interesting. What we want is a holy war, not for Estonia. Not for that. Probably still Novogrod. The biggest piece of the pie. Veps would fit a little bit better. But Novogrod would give me a more immediate feeling of I need to keep up doing this. 
So we will just go ahead and send our regards. And as we do this, we would like you to also come in here and help out. And now we will raise our small, infinitesimally small contingent of troops. And as is tradition, we leave behind our retinue. Some more people to be raised. Put these on the ship. And these will bunch up with our retinue. These we ship over here. As we watch Teutonic Order and the enemies assemble their troops. And we'll leave our ships out. Let's watch our money. Fine. As we push forward. Uh, let's split our troops so we don't lose too many to attrition. Make sure a siege master is in the siege seat. Is. Now primary army is just going to go and slaughter them as they stand around. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. God guides our hand in this just war. Indeed, he does. My men and I found ourselves at a bar in Livimia. We want to take her home. Now, we would rather be pious. Not here to pick up random women. My lord is a noble warrior at the gate. He says he is a veteran of many battles. Sure. Gregor. What? Name? Gregor. Oh, yeah. He ain't lying. He can replace one of the lower... ...killed... Commanders, I have. Going on here. After hearing about a wise man in a local area, I decide to go visit him and see what he has to offer. He starts talking about ephemeral concepts. Could give us two learning. But we're already writing our book, so we don't need it. Yeah, blasphemous must die, but libraries contain knowledge. So we become cruel, which is fine by me. Victory is had, left and right. As the heathen armies start together, they will find no victory. A whole lot of smaller armies coming in here. Try and fight us. A 
Let's go seek them out. Oh, we could lose cruel, envious, and become potentially content. Oh, that's fine. Shall I go find him and make him pay for it. Oh, would you look at that? There's an army of 10,000 moving around. You're probably better off facing them. Let us get ourselves in some sort of position. As they come north. The ambitious Khan from behind the kingdom. The Mongols want to become the rulers of the world. Okay, so the Teutonic Order is looking to engage the enemy over here. I will be looking to reinforce him. Once everyone is locked in, everyone is locked in. So let us go and help our Teutonic brothers in their struggle against the heathen menace. Surging forward, crushing them under our heels. Under heel and under hoof, they will suffer. Someone else coming here, it's probably this little army. It will be met with an unpleasant surprise. Morale of armies plus 15%, didn't we already have that? Check. Oh yeah, it was only plus 10, now we get plus 15 and it lasts longer. Who's coming to attack us? Tell me. Nobody. So let us go seek them out. Okay, let's send these up here to Novogrod. Siege a bit. Are you in a faction by chance? You are leading faction. Stop it. Uh, okay, more upgrading. Oh, our palace. We're almost there with the palace. That gets the first upgrade. Is B. Full booth. Mustering grounds. Everything done. Castle shipyard. Yes, you are forgiven. I am. How would you look at that? Give me more cultural tech points. Oh, hello. Cultural tech goes up. Unlocks decisions not available for your character. What? What decisions might those be? Let us find out by increasing our majesty. Good daughter on the King of England. Sure. I didn't look. I just picked. I like the Teutonic Order. As we settle down for the night. Okay. Could become humble. Does that help us? Monthly piety. All plus two martial for another two years. Let us take a moment and thank God for this miracle. We shall. All right. I'm pretty sure this war is done. But the Teutonics are going to give us money again. She'll find a husband, I'm sure. 
A Teutonic Order is going to get these two pieces, I believe. Our half-sister wants us to spend some time with family in Marib. Sure. We can just teleport down there, can't we? Okay, and the Teutonic Order is very happy giving us a new artifact. The Holy Prepuces. Prepuce. <laughs> Queen of Finland has stood down her army that she had previously sent in support of ours. Oh, what did you look at all this area the Teutonic Order took. It's fantastic. Do we want to siege everything here? And I think we have enough men to do that. I don't want to lose men to attrition. Or at least I want to minimize the amount of troops I lose to attrition. Come and get me, I'm right here. And I have a lot of very tasty small little armies that are very tasty, small and little. I can just pluck them right out of the air. Winter is wreaking havoc with our troops. He's going to jump on these, for example. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's coming here. That's very nice of him. We're leading these troops anyway. And once he's locked in, we're going to move everything in defense. Well, after we finish these sieges. Okay. They can move over, continue with the sieging. It doesn't even look like we need help here. Wow, look at me. I'm not even going to send the southern army. You just basically rip them apart alone. My goodness. What a sight. We'll just step right out of our comfort zone here. Siege a bit more outside of what we need. That way he gets another target here. Always teach the Winter Soldier out here, it is required. Oh, he has gotten a little bit of support, just not all that much. Definitely not enough to really face a challenge, uh, to be a challenge to us. Alright, I think we'll take care of this ourselves, and alone. And this will be this man. Potentially reinforced, but we'll have to see. Ah oh yeah, there are more troops coming. We finished this siege anyway, so let us not take chances. But this is just insane, he's just... He's just handing out slaps and naps. Patrician Gottfried von Mölln seizes... Our trade... What? 
What the fuck is the Hansa? Are they a thing now? They have ceased my trade posts. How? Dare you? And how did they just do that? Especially this one, it's not even in their territory. I should probably look up how that works. Probably should. <laughs>